Well, good afternoon, my friends, and happy Tuesday, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I hope you're all doing well. Now, it's about 20 past 5 in the afternoon, and I'm only just beginning the vlog. I'm feeling a little bit disheveled and out of place. I just had a really busy day just doing life things and not really having the time to properly sit down at my sewing machine and do some sewing but we're going to do a little bit this afternoon hopefully we'll be able to get the binding on my Christmas hexi flower quilt I would really really like to get that done today but I'm thinking we'll mix it up a little bit today and we might do the advent calendars now and then we can just like focus the rest of the afternoon slash evening on doing binding. I really want to do a labels first again today and then we'll move on to a lovely fabric but let's see what is behind door 12 today. There is day 12. I think it's someone selling. Let's see what is in here. I know I'm also looking a little bit pink today. I've been out in the sun. <laughs> it's been a while since my face has seen proper sun because it's just been so cloudy and rainy here. Anyway, let's see what we've got. <gasps> I like these ones. These ones are right up my path. Definitely in my wheelhouse, these ones. Lovely and simple. I love to sew, and yes I do. I love this. You know, this would be really cool on just like a plain shirt and just actually sewn on the front as like a little side thing it just says I love to sew I might do that you know okay oh, in the tin that I can't open there we go in the tin they go with their friends Ooh, thank you let's open our beautiful fabric advent calendar this is all of our beautiful fabrics together looking great yes that beautiful ruffle paper co one is still there day 13 here it is let's have a look and see what is in day 13. it's a nice one wow that is so bright on the screen but it's not that bright in real life i've just learned that this is ruby star society by alexia marcel Beg. i love her so this one is ruby star society by alexia marcel Beg. oh it's getting too big to fit in the screen there we go lovely this one matches with this floral one here nice and then with that one as well. Happy days! I love that so much. I did not think we were gonna go this way in colour. That has pleasantly surprised me but in a very very good way. So cool. And we'll go back in there nice and snugly and we'll see you again tomorrow. Okay that's advent done for the day and now I think we will sit at the sewing machine and sew on some binding. It's binding time! Yeah! Oh no, I turned the camera on and all drama like breaks loose. There's a cat hanging around our backyard, so the dog next door is going off. Charlie inside's going off. He's not going outside. It's always the way. As soon as I turn the camera on, something happens. I know, puppy, it's not your problem. You're not going out there. So it is a little bit later on in the evening, I must admit. After mentioning it in yesterday's vlog, I started watching um, Up at Christmas Carol because I've been thinking about it all day and so I just sat with a cup of tea and watched it and just enjoyed it immensely and it's just made me so joyous and Christmassy. So it is a little bit later on in the evening, it's almost 9 o'clock and we're going to do some binding. I did manage to sew it onto the back. I folded it over and pressed it into place because that's the way that I like to do it. I like it nice and neat, pressed into place and then clipped into place just so that it's not going to go all wobbly so that it's, you know, as perfect as I can get it because, you know, I am a little bit of a perfectionist in certain areas. So let's sew. Let's, let's get the binding done 
and then we can concentrate on the label and then we've got our second Christmas quilt for Vlogmas 22 finished yeah whoop whoop <laughs> happy days Oh my gosh, <laughs> that tested me so much. The binding is also none, but it was a bit of a nightmare. That's why you didn't see a lot of me doing it. Oh my gosh, my thread. I'm using really, really old thread that I got, oh my gosh, maybe like 10, 12 years ago. Sort of, so it's really old and it's getting to the point where it's like the end of the spool. And so it's like really like... I don't know, like wavy, so it's not feeding through the machine properly, and because of that, it kept skipping stitches, it broke, and it just really tested my patience. I was thinking it was the machine, but I changed the needle, tension's fine, bobbin's fine, everything's fine with the machine, it's just the thread. And so, I battled on. I've used this thread throughout the whole quilt, and I didn't want to change it for the binding, so persevered and got it done. There are small little bits of skipped stitches but you know you can't tell from far away and I'm not redoing it. <laughs> not at the moment, not today. I've had a pretty long day today and I am tired and my patience is this thin. So I was like just persevere and get it done. <laughs> And I did, and uh, it looks really great, except for all the tiny little skipped stitches that are just ugh, annoying, but you can't tell, so it's fine. But that is the effect of the binding. I think it looks like snowflakes, and it just sort of makes it so Christmassy. I love it. I'm going to do a better shot of it tomorrow when it's daytime, just like I did with my Quilty Trees quilt, and then you can see it in all of its glory. I also have to give it just a little bit of a press and uh, get all the dog hair off it and then it will be like photographic worthy maybe I don't know what I will do before I go I'm not gonna make it today but I will choose the hexes for my label this is the team that I keep all of my pre-basted hexes in I got this from TK Maxx ages ago it is by Happy Jackson and yeah it's a little sewing tin so it says like all the different things around the edge and then handmade with love on the top and it's the perfect size for one and a half inch hexes or whatever size you make. This is all I have left in my stash at the moment. Usually this is like rammed full but because I've been making so much my little stash is depleted so I'm gonna have to make some more but we need to fish out some Christmassy colours or designs or patterns or whatever to make our label. So let's do that before I pass out with exhaustion. <laughs> so I think this is the final choice of hexes I'm going to do. I've decided to do all sort of greens because I'm thinking it'll be maybe a bit of a contrast against the red background. Yeah, I think that should work. I might sort of like change up where they are just to make it sort of even, but I think it's even enough. I'll look at it again with fresh eyes tomorrow morning and make up my mind. Okay, my friends, I'm going to say goodbye for the day. I am so tired. I'm going to let the dog out and go right to bed and hopefully get a good night's sleep and ready to get back into it tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I'll finish off the hexi flower and then hopefully attach it to the back of the quilt just like I did with my quilty trees quilt quilt label. Gosh, I don't want to say that sentence 10 times fast. No way. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you all again tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. Bye!